Welcome to Science and Technology Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Chinese companies resort to repurposing NVIDIA gaming chips for AI. TikTok and Disney Plus outshine games in record year for mobile apps. Apple returns to list of top US employers as other tech firms lose appeal. AI starts to show promise as tool to sift mountain of sustainability research. China says its moon mission is on track as NASA suffers setbacks. Chinese companies resort to repurposing NVIDIA gaming chips for AI. Financial Times. Chinese companies are reportedly repurposing gaming chips from NVIDIA graphics cards to develop artificial intelligence, AI, tools following US export restrictions on high-performance processors. The graphics processing units are being stripped of their core components and installed on new circuit boards. While NVIDIA's gaming products have raw computing power, they are not as capable in the high-precision calculations needed for training certain large language models. Industry experts and analysts have warned that modifications to NVIDIA's products could violate the company's intellectual property rights and that some of the gaming cards could be banned from being sold to China at any time. TikTok and Disney Plus outshine games in record year for mobile apps. Bloomberg. ByteDance TikTok has become the first app to surpass $10 billion in cumulative consumer spending, according to data from Data.ai. TikTok's in-app purchases of credits for tipping creators and live streamers accounted for the majority of its income. The rise in consumer app sales was driven by video streaming platforms like TikTok and Disney+, Plus, while the games industry experienced a decline in sales. The report also highlighted the growth of artificial intelligence in attracting new users, with generative AI apps surpassing $10 million in monthly consumer spending. Apple returns to list of top US employers as other tech firms lose appeal. Bloomberg AI starts to show promise as tool to sift mountain of sustainability research. Financial Times. Artificial intelligence, AI, is being used to assess the impact of business school academics' research and teaching on sustainability, challenging the traditional method of measuring the value of academic papers based on the prestige of the journal they are published in. Providers of academic publishing statistics, including Web of Science and Scopus, have developed AI models to determine the relevance of journal articles to the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Wilfred Midgenhart, policy director at the Rotterdam School of Management, has created machine learning tools to score academic articles for their relationship to the SDGs. While AI has the potential to find papers that might otherwise be overlooked, it can still make basic errors such as flagging papers that include the word climate but are unrelated to sustainability. Another approach to evaluating the impact of business school academics research is to count the number of downloads from databases like the Social Science Research Network. Additionally, technology can be used to track and analyze the content of courses provided by business schools. China says its moon mission is on track as NASA suffers setbacks. Bloomberg. China's lunar exploration program is on track to launch its next mission, Chang'e 6, to the far side of the moon in the first half of 2024. Pre-launch tests for the mission are currently underway, and the launch site facilities are in good condition. This update comes as the US faces setbacks in its efforts to return to the moon. Astrobotic Technology announced that its NASA-backed spacecraft has no chance of landing on the lunar surface due to an issue with its propulsion system. NASA has also delayed its Artemis III mission by about a year, with a new target of September 2026. Both China and the US are aiming to send astronauts to the moon this decade as part of the New Era space race. China has set a target of sending its first astronauts to the moon by 2030 and is seeking international support for a lunar research station. Could an AI death calculator actually be a good thing? Financial Times. Scientists have developed an algorithm that can predict a person's life course and even premature death using data from Denmark's registry. The algorithm, known as Life2Vec, outperformed other predictive models, including actuarial tables used by the insurance industry. The researchers compiled a vocabulary of life events and used it to construct sentences to train the algorithm. When tested on a sample of 100,000 people, Life2Vec accurately predicted whether they would survive or die over a certain period 79% of the time. The researchers believe the algorithm could help policymakers improve public health outcomes. 
DeepMind spin-off aims to have drug discovery times following big pharma deals. Financial Times. Google DeepMind's drug discovery spin-out, Isomorphic Labs, aims to reduce the time it takes to find new medicines from an average of 5 years to 2. Isomorphic Labs uses an AI platform to predict biochemical structures and recommend potential compounds for drug development. The company recently signed partnerships with pharmaceutical giants Eli Lilly and Novartis worth up to $3 billion combined. Large drug makers are keen to find new ways to expedite the drug discovery process and cut costs in research and development. Isomorphic Labs plans to build in-house experimental facilities and partner with pharmaceutical companies in the future. What happens if the trustbusters win? Financial Times. U.S. trustbusters are facing off against big tech in a series of court cases that could reshape the U.S. corporate landscape. The Department of Justice has put on evidence in its most significant antitrust trial in 25 years, a lawsuit alleging that Google used illegal deals to dominate internet search. Google is also facing separate claims about monopolistic ad technology. The Federal Trade Commission is trying to force Meta to sell Instagram and WhatsApp, and it recently filed a lawsuit against Amazon over its e-commerce power. Apple is also reportedly in the crosshairs of a looming DOJ antitrust case. Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Dr. Six, your trusty observer from the six dimensions. I've got some interesting news to share with you today, so let's dive right in. First up, we have Chinese companies repurposing gaming chips from NVIDIA graphics cards for artificial intelligence, AI, development. It seems like they're finding creative ways to work around the US export restrictions on high-performance processors. But be careful, because modifying NVIDIA's products could lead to some legal troubles and potential bans on sales to China. Let's hope they don't play their cards too close to the edge. Next, TikTok is making waves by becoming the first app to surpass $10 billion in consumer spending. It seems like people just can't get enough of those in-app purchases for tipping creators and live streamers. On the other hand, the games industry is experiencing a decline in sales. Looks like TikTok and Disney Plus are stealing the show in the app world. Who needs games when you can have a good old dance-off or binge-watch your favorite movies? In other news, Apple has made a comeback on Glassdoor's list of the best places to work. It seems like the tech sector is losing some of its appeal, with fewer tech companies making the cut this year. But fear not, Apple is here to save the day and remind us that there can be balance in the job market. After all, who doesn't want to work for a company that gives you the sweet taste of success? Artificial intelligence is also making strides in the world of sustainability research. AI is being used to assess the impact of academic papers and teaching on sustainability, challenging the traditional methods of evaluation. But let's not forget that AI can still make some basic errors, like flagging papers that include the word climate but have nothing to do with sustainability. It's like mistaking a cucumber for a zucchini. Close, but no cigar. Now, let's talk about space. China's lunar exploration program is on track to launch its next mission to the far side of the moon, while the US is facing setbacks in its efforts to return to the moon. Looks like China is taking the lead in the new era space race. But hey, no pressure NASA, we've still got some time to catch up. Let's hope they can fix those propulsion issues and get back on track to the moon. Next, we have a death calculator powered by AI. Sounds morbid, doesn't it? But hey, it's actually quite fascinating. Scientists have developed an algorithm that can predict a person's life course and even premature death. It outperformed traditional models used by the insurance industry. I guess AI is becoming the ultimate fortune teller, predicting life and death. Maybe it's time to start asking Siri for some advice. And finally, Google DeepMind's spin-off, Isomorphic Labs, is aiming to revolutionize the drug discovery process by using AI. They want to cut down the time it takes to find new medicines from 5 years to just 2. That's a big leap forward for the pharmaceutical industry. With partnerships with Eli Lilly and Novartis, Isomorphic Labs is ready to shake things up. Who knows, maybe we'll all be taking AI-designed pills in the not-so-distant future. Well, that's all the news I have for you today, folks. It's been a pleasure bringing you the latest from the six dimensions. Now it's your turn to join the discussion. What are your thoughts on Chinese companies repurposing gaming chips for AI? Would you trust an AI death calculator? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. Word count, 860. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective.
Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.